Well, hello, glorious people of the interwebs, and welcome back to No Man's Sky. Today, I'm going to be teaching you how to become the Jeff Bezos of the universe. That's right, the richest man or woman in the entire universe. And today, we're going to be doing this with a trade route system, and I'm going to be showing you how to set up a basic three-loop trade route system. It's going to get you a ton of money extremely easily, and you can kind of combine this with other methods to make this even more advanced, but we're going to show you the basics of this so you can set this up for yourself and be able to make a ton of money very quickly in No Man's Sky. Now, I've already got my three loop system set up and I've got one of my bases on a planet here, uh, but before we get into exactly how this works, there are going to be a few things that you need to get. The first of which is going to be the economy scanner. You can get this on the space anomaly and you purchase it from the people who give you the blueprints. It's going to cost you a couple nanites, but with this, you're going to actually be able to scan systems for their economy before you warp to them. That is going to be very important, and I'm going to get, you, get into what you want to look for in just a second. But you're also going to want to make sure that you have as much room as possible in your inventory. Obviously, as you progress through the game, you're going to unlock more slots, and you can see that my exosuit is currently fully upgraded. I do have a few things that I like to carry around with me just in case I find some cool animals that I want to milk or need some stuff refined. Unfortunately, the starship I'm using right now doesn't have max slots. I'm still waiting for a really nice S-Class hauler, but I haven't been able to find one. But you can upgrade as you go. Just try and keep as many slots open as you can. So that's really it for the things that you're going to need. And obviously, you're going to need some sort of money to start off with. I have 223 million units right now, but I started doing trade routes with a million dollars. And you can start it really with any amount of money. As long as you can start buying and selling things, you're good to go. Now, as I mentioned, you want the economy scanner. You can see here that we currently have a three-star economy trading uh, system here. And you can see that the sell is at 67.7% and the buy is at negative 22.1%. You want the sell to be as high as possible and the buy to be as negative as possible. Those are going to be the best signs. And you really want to look for something where the sell is 70 or above and the buy is negative 22 or below, as in negative 20. Sorry, negative 20 or below, so it would be negative 20 to like negative 30 or negative 40. Uh, but right around this range is pretty good. There's actually a better one right down here, but I didn't see it until I just before I started this one. If I were really wanting to maximize my profits, I would set up my outpost here to be able to buy things and sell things here. Uh, this system is about as good as you can find it. You can see the sell is at 75.3%. And um, the buy is at negative 29.7. That is amazing. And you do absolutely want to get the three star economies. And that's because they're going to have more of the product there. You might be able to find things like two stars here where the sell is at negative 23 and the buy is at 47. Sometimes you'll find these two star systems where the buy and sell rates are actually really, really good. And you might be tempted to go there. And honestly, if you don't have a lot of slots to buy stuff, then that one will be good for you. But if you do have a ton of slots, you want to maximize your money. You want to go to the three star systems because they will have more of the product available for you to buy. And they'll there's more leeway also for you to be able to sell without crashing the market. Now, in this particular trading scenario that we're going to be doing, we're going to be trading to three different types of of economies. We're going to start off in trading. And there's actually a little trick that we can use to find trading outposts easier. You can use the filter on the top right corner and filter by economy. And you can see here that the trading or commercial um, systems are green. So you can easily find all these systems to start setting up your thing here. So you can see we got another merchantile, 47 and minus 28, which isn't great. Um, and then we got a 72.4 and a negative 22, which seems really good, but it's only a two star. You can see how easy it is to find the systems once you know what color they are. So what we have on the screen right now is how the trade loop is going to work. We've got trading, advanced materials, and scientific all consisting of the three loop trade system. You're going to buy items from trading. You're going to sell those to advanced materials. You're going to buy from advanced materials and sell that to scientific. And then you're going to buy from scientific and sell at trading. That is going to complete one loop. And then you can do this as many times as they have things available. 
Now, trading does consist of four different types. Basically, they're going to have all the same icon, but it's just going to say like trading, shipping, mercantile, or commercial. And then below that is all the things available from them that you want to buy to sell to advanced materials. The same thing goes for advanced materials. It comes in four different types, but they all have the same icon and different things to buy and then sell to scientific. So you can keep this uh, for yourself. Just take like a snip of it or something like that. And it'll really help you figure out how this is going to work in the long run. Now, where do you showed off that merchantile was green? The next color that you're going to want to be looking if you're using the filter is this purple color, which is ore processing or advanced materials is what it falls under, but that has alchemical material fusion, metal processing, or ore processing. But they do show up as purple no matter what they are, and it doesn't really matter what subclass it is as long as it's a three-star purple system that falls in the advanced materials you can really do whatever you want. You can see we have all different types here, uh, but really what we need is a three-star system like this one. Unfortunately, this one has cell 44. It does have buy to negative 24.9, but the cell isn't that great. Sometimes within your jump range, you're just not going to find amazing things and you can settle if you really want, but looking for the best case scenarios is really what you want to do. Now we've got that color. Now the other color we're going to be looking for is this bluish here, which is going to be our scientific. Now under scientific, you have experimental, mathematical, research, and science. They're always going to show up as blue and they're always going to have that like elixir as the icon. Uh, the subclasses really don't matter. As long as it's blue or has the elixir icon, you're going to be good. And you're going to look for the three star and ooh, we had actually a really good one. Oh, it's only 58 points for and negative 14. So you got the really nice economy, but the sell and buy is not really in the range that we want. So we're going to have to keep searching. Now, once you locate a system that you want to trade in, we've got our trade Ario one here or our trading one. Um, you're going to want to go to a trading outpost. You're not going to actually want to sell or buy anything at the space stations. You're going to want to do this on planet. Now you can scan for trading outposts with the economy scanner. You're going to hit down on your D-pad, go over to utilities, and you're going to click scan for trade outposts. This will pop one up on the planet and you can go down and there's going to be an access terminal here to buy and sell stuff. On another note, you're also going to get higher chances of S-class ships here, especially because you're in a high economy system. So if you're looking for new ships, make sure to take advantage of this. We got an A39 plus 6. I'm still looking for that 48 plus whatever, the maximum slots. I'm really not going to settle for my hauler. I want it to have the max slots. Um, but you're going to want to trade here. Now, that's why I have a base set up right there with a teleporter inside of it. It's going to be very important that you set a base up right next to the outpost. It's going to make your life significantly easier. Now, let's go ahead and actually start the trade route so you can see exactly how it works. Now we are starting our loop, and since we're starting this, we are starting in uh, trading. You can really start wherever you want, but for simplicity's sake, we're starting at trading. And you can see here that we've got uh, teleporting coordinates, which is 43,000 per, and that is at negative 17.2%. That means it is, it's negative 17% below MSRP. Say you're buying something at, uh, say the MSRP for it is $100, you're buying this 17% less than $100, which is why it's showing up as green. If it's showing up as red, that means you're buying it above the MSRP, which is bad. But now, since we're actually on the trading outpost on the planet, the this is significantly more green than it would be if we were on the station, which is really good, and that's why we want to do it on the trading outpost. You're going to make way more money doing it on the outposts, then you're going to be doing it on the stations themselves. Now, all you're going to do is just buy as many of these as humanly possible. We can buy 170 of these, I do believe. And um, you're just going to fill up your inventory with as much stuff as possible. Now, in our inventory, we were able to fit, I believe it was 170 and then plus 40. So 210 different things. And you can see where you're going to really need a lot of slots to really make as much money per hour as you can. Now we could fill up our starship, but I don't have a lot of slots, so I'm only going to do this with my exosuit for now. Ooh, look at that nice S-class. That is, I actually have this one already, but man, oh man, does it look good. This is one of my favorite S-classes. 18 plus 5. I actually have 19 plus 5 on mine, I think. I'm not sure. Now that I'm done fawning all over the ships here, I haven't found one that I really wanted yet. We're just going to jump over to our lovely base here. Now, a little trick to jump farther is you want to punch like this. So whatever your punch button is, you punch and then use your jetpack and it'll launch you forward. 
so you can travel faster. It's a really nice trick. There's another B class. Um, but now we're going to warp to our next system, and I'll go over the naming convention that I use so you can easily find your bases. Now, we are right now on Tradario Gek Outpost 1. So this is a trading uh, with Gek and its Outpost 1. And we need to sell this stuff at Advanced. So I've named mine Advanced Ario Gek Outpost 1. And if I set up another system, I'll name it 2 and so on and so forth. So we need to sell trading to Advanced. There we go. We've teleported to our Advanced area. And the base that I have set up for this is very simplistic. I have a teleporter and then a battery and a solar panel, and it's perfect. I always have as much power as I need, but there is another level to this trading that we're going to get into in another video where we have our trade route set up, and then we have farms in these outposts buildings that we're creating, uh, and that we're going to be able to harvest the stuff from the farm and then sell it to the trading outpost as well. Uh, but that's going to be in another video, but if you already know how to farm, make sure to take advantage of that as well. Now we're just going to hop over to the trading outpost. Of course, there's a nice storm here, but maybe we'll get some nice ships. We got a C class and eh, B class. Meh. One of these days I'll get that nice beautiful S class hauler that I'm dreaming of. Let's just take a look at this beautiful thing. A30 plus 4. Okay, anyways. Now that we're at advanced, we're going to sell all of the trading stuff that we just purchased. And you can see here that we're selling it for positive 31.7 and positive 42.2. So I'm able to sell this for $11.7 million, making 50% of my money back. Which, well, you know, making 50% extra. Really, really good returns. Let's go ahead and sell that. Now, once we've sold all that, we're going to buy all the things from here. Now, we've got uh, superconducting fluid here at negative 14.4%. And it's uh, $44,000 each. You're really going to want to buy the most expensive things that you can. And as many of them. Because you're going to make... While the percentage may be lower than like carbon nanotubes up here. You can see here that um, we're going to make more money because we're spending more money. It's, But basically, you, you, you prioritize it as much as you can depending on how much money you have. If you have a ton of money, you're going to buy all of the stuff. If you have all the slots, then you're just going to buy every single thing that they have to offer. Uh, but I don't have a ton of slots right now, so I'm just buying as much of this as I can, and I believe I can buy 60 of these five-dimensional Taurus. Now, since we just purchased advanced materials, we're going to take those to science, where we're going to sell all of the advanced materials, and then buy all the science ones. Now we are on our science uh, trading post. We're going to sell all the items that we got. And let's see here. We got nice percentages on here. So we got 10 million for selling, well, 10.6 million for selling all of those. And then 2.7 for selling all of these. So not too bad so far. I think so far we've made about 10 million total uh, in just a few minutes. Like literally just minutes. As long as it takes to teleport is how long it's taking to do this each time. So now we need to buy all of the neural ducts here. And I think we can buy all of the organic piping too. Now, since we're in science, you you buy stuff from science, and then you sell it back to trading, which is going to complete our loop. So we are now back on the original station. We're going to sell all of the science stuff that we just purchased. So sell items, and we're making less, unfortunately, just because we didn't have as many of them available to us. That's going to be where it's important that you find a good system with a good stock. So let's go ahead and sell all of these. There we go. And we've made a total of uh, 14. We started at 223, and now we're at 238 million. So pretty darn good. But now, as you can see, we're out of stock of teleporter coordinates. But they did restock on ion spheres already, which is really nice. Um, so they will restock things at different rates. And this is where setting up multiple of these are going to help. Now, you can set this up at as many of these outposts as you want. Each outpost is going to have their own stock. So this one here might have one, so just go to another planet or another area on the planet and set up a whole another system. And now you can basically set up, depending on how many planets there are in the system, you can reuse the same star system many, many times. So we've got three different planets here. If we just wanted to do one on each planet, so we could set up three different outposts here and then just keep going through it. So you can really set up as many of these trade routes as you want. 
Now you can see in just a few minutes, in a total of three warps, we were able to make, uh, what was it, uh, $15 million. It's a really, really quick return on investment, and that is not even maximizing everything with setting up a farm on our little outpost here. And I'm going to showcase the best way to set up an optimal farm in another video to really kick off this into the next level of uh, your trade route. But this will definitely help you become rich in No Man's Sky, especially along with the activated Indium guide that I provided the other day. If you guys haven't seen that, make sure to check it out on the channel. But I do hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. I'm going to find me an S-Class ship.